Hey everybody, I'm Joey. You're watching My Slice of Heaven Outdoors. And today we're going to take a quick look at the food plot that I planted down by the camper. I believe it's been three months now. So let's just take a look at it. Guys, this is the area we planted for the food plot near the camper. If you uh, bend down here and get a close look. You can see where all the tops have been chewed off of these things. food plants like that, but what I find really neat is look at these turnips. They're not huge. They're nice size. Here's one. There's not very many of them either, but they're scattered out here. There's a little one right here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But the leaves have pretty much covered all these food plot up now. Pretty good amount of leaves on the uh, food plot for them to eat. Man, has it been chewed down. Food plot, guys. It's <laughs> this is the one by the camper. It's it's gone. <laughs> I mean, there's not much left. It's, there's a few clovers here and there, but uh, it's it's gone. Might be why I didn't get many deer on the trail cameras in the past months. Here's some more clovers, but not a whole lot, which I'm okay with it. It did its purpose for a while. Um, took a video about a month ago. I'll be showing that to you on this video of some turnips. The turnips, I'm still seeing turnips everywhere, so if they have not started eating those, I see some radishes. But not much of their green left to them, not much foliage left. They pretty much ate all that. Depending on where we plan to put the camper next year, we're thinking about moving it up to the top of the hill where the food plot is now, the one I've been hunting over. Uh, we're thinking about keeping the camera up there. Oh, camera. The camper up there and turning this whole area here into a food plot. So we'll need to come in here, get some of these small trees up out of here and do something with that brush, probably end up burning it, cutting with a firewood we can out of it and burn the rest. Uh, and we have to get some of these rocks up out of here too and level it out. And some of those bigger trees will have to go because nothing really grew on that side. And I'll take you up top and we'll look at that plot too on the way out. But right now I'm going to walk back toward the pond, change some cameras. I'm going to take my new camera back to the back of the property. I don't think you guys have ever seen the back of the property yet. Maybe I'll take a little video of that. And then I'll come back here and change my cameras and head on home. This was just a day trip. I got here about 11 o'clock and thinking I'll be gone by 3. All right, guys, I'll take some more video in a bit. All right, guys, I'm up here at the food plot where I was hunting from, where I was hunting at this year. And this plot looks worse than the one down by the camper. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of green left. But not a whole lot. They, I don't even know if they're still using this or not. They might be. There's a little bit of green. I've seen a couple small turnips in this one. Wait, there's the hunting blind. Man. It's, it's gone. Pretty much gone. I don't even know if they'll be back in this food plot anymore this year. But there's a small turnip right there. There's another one right there. 
that's all I see. But I'll work on this a little bit more this year. I want to take it all the way back to that big tree in the middle of the screen. Take it back to there. I want to go behind this big tree, like kind of on the right hand side of the blind. So it'll make like a little thumb right there and then start working my way that way. Well guys, that's the food plot update. I know there wasn't much to show because there's not really a whole lot left. So you all have a great day.